good morning guys so i am out and about way early so first of all i took a nap yesterday at like a random time ended up waking up at night time y'all know y'all do that and y'all be like hella confused so i did that yesterday it dawned on me that i haven't thought of shit for my birthday so i needed to get that like I had to, I was trying to figure out stuff for that, and like, y'all should know by now, I really take my birthday really seriously, like, I don't care what else is going on, if my birthday doesn't go the right way, I'm gonna be like, really irritated and really upset, so I was like, let me make sure I get that shit figured out, so I started figuring that out, like, just thinking of the theme, looking for cake people and stuff like that. So I was doing that and then before I know it, it's 11 o'clock and then before I know it, it's 1 o'clock and um, I've actually been taking this vlogging shit seriously and I committed myself to doing it so I was like well I still have to do this video so I ended up not getting done with whatever video I was doing until like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning at like 6.30. So then I get some food. So then after that, like 6.30, the homie hits me up and he's like, oh, um, I have a page video. Can you make it? I'm like, what time? He's like, 8. I'm like, p.m.? He's like, a.m. I'm like, oh my f I'm sure all girls that do videos, my arms getting tired. I'm sure all girls that do videos and stuff like that, they all, like, cut encounter that. Motherfuckers just be hitting you for shit so last minute. But, I really, like, we starting to get annoyed by that. And I will say no to something just because you're contacting me last minute. But I really need to get out of that state of mind. Like, if I can do it, I might as well just do it. But my whole thing is, like, stay ready so you got to get ready. Like, you should have been hit me up. Or if you knew you needed this, why you didn't bend hit me up? But I'm going to get out of that state of mind. I'm going to just start being more open if I'm actually open. Because if it's some last minute shit, I just don't be want to do it off the strength that the shit is last minute. Like, you should have been contacting me. And he's like, oh yeah, this other girl couldn't make it. So then I really was like, mm. So yeah, I ended up saying like, yeah, cool, I can make it. It's a holiday season. I could definitely use the extra money. So, might as well. And, like I said, I'm going to be more open and not closed. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, I had to hurry up and get ready for that. Mind you, I didn't have on no wig. I didn't have nothing on. Like, nothing was attached or, like, solid. I put this wig on like fast so I don't even think this shit don't even look as good as it could but it's gonna have to work like I was trying to hurry up and now I'm sitting in traffic anyway so it's still gonna take me a while to get there anyway so it's kind of like <laughs> yeah but it should be easy I was thinking it was gonna be cold like what I gotta do in the video I was hoping it's not gonna be cold because I'm supposed to be wearing a bathing suit by somebody pool i'm going hella far if you guys are locals i'm gonna be all the way by like lake las vegas so i'm just trying to make it there safely if you know what i mean not trying to get pulled over so yeah um i guess that's pretty much it for what i'm doing for right now other things of the day i actually still have to edit that video that i was up doing so after i'm done with this i'm gonna go check my p.o box then i'm gonna go home make sure i get that video done and i'm gonna try my best not to go to sleep or take a nap so i can finish so i can fix my sleep schedule for later on tonight so that i could just go so like i can knock out like tonight so then i can wake up at a decent time tomorrow instead of like just continuing this weird cycle of retarded sleep schedule so yeah i'm supposed to be 
checking my P.O. box. I'm supposed to have a meeting, actually. Um, I'm supposed to have two meetings. I gotta like do like a little check-in thing, and then I have a meeting. And then yeah, so it's kind of a lot, but not really. I haven't really been like moving around doing as much, so it's kind of cool. I'm kind of happy to be moving around and stuff. So yeah, I will update you guys. I'm trying to get out of this traffic right now. And yeah, I'm going to try to charge my camera so I can vlog at the video shoot. Because I never really vlog at video shoots. But since this is a friend of mine that's shooting the video, it should be cool. So yeah. Oh, make sure y'all watch my vlogmas. Because I'm doing the damn thing if I do say so myself. This is probably the most consistent I done been with the shit. Period, poo. <sighs> Y'all. Y'all don't know how irritated I am. Like. And I'm not even as irritated as I should be. But I'm pretty fucking irritated. <sighs> so why did I get all the way over here? Drove about... Let's see what the fuck happened. I didn't drove all the way up here. 40 minutes plus because there was traffic. Starting route. And as I pull in, Drive. this then Negro texts me and says that they're tripping and they need permits. So send him my cash up and he'll send me some gas money like Turn right onto Negro. Radio, then turn right onto Lake Las Vegas Parkway. Gas money? What is gas money? Like $20? Turn right onto Lake Las Vegas Parkway. Like. <laughs> I. You see? Like. You see? Stay in the right two lanes. And maybe this is why I be saying. I'm not finna waste my motherfucking time. When motherfuckers. Wanna hit me up on some last minute shit. Cause then shit like this happens. And I'm not here for this kind of shit, wasting my time. That's that. That's what's going to make me mad. You got me wasting my time. That's what's going to make me mad. I had to get ready. Take the second exit onto Lake and Lake some Lake. more. So he told me basically just to go home. Now he said, oh, well, just come. We'll improvise. Because I'm literally right here. Like, right here. If I don't vlog no more, I'ma just let y'all know what's going on after the fact because I don't even feel like, I don't even feel like vlogging because I'm just annoyed. Because I just drove all the way up here and motherfuckers start playing games as soon as I'm here. Like, you could have said that before I left and on top of that, I was already telling the nigga like, well it's probably going to take me a little bit because, you know, you're just now hitting me up. I got to do my whole hair, my whole makeup. I'm all the way up here. All right, y'all, I did some shooting. I had to sit on a ledge over a lake. I was hella anxious about it. But this is why I like Las Vegas. This is like part of the lake. That is the strip all the way up there. That is the strip, y'all. That is how far I am. <laughs> That's why I was gonna be pissed. But 
but yeah i'm hella far and i'm done now i just wanted to show you guys like this is how vegas look like a lot of people think vegas is just a strip but it's actually more than just a strip it's actually hella mountains we don't really have that much water but we do have like two lakes but i think they're man-made lakes uh i just saw a little rabbit pass by but you probably won't be able to see it but yeah we got lakes we got different shit So yeah, I'm finna get the fuck and take my ass to do the other shit I need to do. My hair lady texts me and see if I want to get my hair done, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But anyways, I'm finna go. Okay, so that's a wrap with that. I am, I am on my way back to my fucking village because a bitch is in the sticks, literally in the mountains. So, I'm going to head back to my area. I'm probably going to get myself something to eat or something. Um, Like I said earlier, I'm probably going to check my P.O. box next. And yeah, probably try to get something to eat. Yeah, but you know what I was wondering? Like... Why do you not, why, why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> no, for real though. So, y'all be wondering why, like, I don't talk to people from my social media. Like, pretty much at this point, and, and it's my dumb ass that keep on doing it. So, like, I can't blame nobody but myself. But this is just why I, like, tell you guys. And this is why, at this point, too, I don't even want any friends. I don't want any friends. Like... And if I do make some friends, I'ma just automatically let me move this side. I'm going to automatically just have a bad feeling about the shit because at this fucking point, <laughs> bro, at this point, every time that I even be semi cool with somebody or somebody tells me like that they follow me on social media and they want to meet up it's just not a good look so let me tell you guys this girl's writing me on social media she lives here i guess she moved here don't know she's from the east coast she ends up coming out one night like she was already hitting me up multiple times about coming out with me or coming out with me and my friends so i'm like okay well you know, people wonder why I don't want to kick it with strangers. And I don't really feel like, like, I feel like that's kind of stupid. Like, it's pretty straightforward why if just because you know me on social media and I don't know you, it's pretty straightforward as to why I don't want to just link up with you on some private dinner date type shit. No, if you want to see me, you better bring, first of all, bring your own car. Second of all, we're going to be in a public place, preferably where there's security, just in case some shit pop off. And I'm not talking about security for my ass, just in case I got to beat your ass, bro. Because honestly, that's just the point I'm getting to, like, and people be so, and I don't even be trying to be rude, because I know, like, some people really fuck with me, and they really do think that our vibes will connect. But guess what? If our vibes don't connect, and then we get into some type of situation that just adds on to later why i don't want to link up with people that just follow me but they're strangers to me like i might not be a stranger to you because y'all watch me but you might be a stranger to me and the only thing is like even though people watch me on youtube instagram whatever you guys have an idea of my personality but you don't know me personally if that makes sense i heard this bitch kayla nicole say that y'all get my personality but y'all don't know me personally i don't know my personal business so it's like the two might not connect which i understand i want to hang out with people too but it's like they just give they just give y'all like a bad rep the few people that move out here that actually make the effort to actually see me or come to the events that i say whatever 
they really give y'all bad rep because I be trying to be cool, but then motherfuckers overdo it and they do too motherfucking much. Anyways, this girl had been hitting me for the longest about this girl had been This girl had been hitting me up for the longest about going out. She wants to link up. She wants to hang out. And I was like, okay, well, if you want to hang out, you need to come, like, to one of the things I'm hosting or come to something. Just because I made it a general rule now. Like, I'm not picking girls up. I'm not dropping you off. I'm not going to be responsible for you because I don't know you. And that's just not my cup of tea. That's not my tea and crumpets. That's not none of that. It's not my coffee and donuts. It's not none of that. So, um, she's hitting me up so much. She finally ends up coming out. Cool. She's cool. Whatever. We have been communicating prior to that. Okay, cool. So, that works for me. Um, then, like, it, feel, it seems like her hitting me up just got more and more stronger and stronger to where if I wouldn't reply, like, bitches just get rude and start being, like, overly aggressive. And this girl's from New York, so it's like, that's cool. I get that people from New York are aggressive. I'm aggressive, but at the same time, you don't really know me like that, and I don't know you like that. For you to be popping off at your motherfucking lips, jibber jabbering your motherfucking jaws, because if you do that to me, and I don't really know you like that, one, either A, you finna get cussed out, or B, you finna get blocked, or C, you go at least get ignored. Like, bare minimum, you getting ignored. So, yeah, I don't like that. Um, And then, like, just like a just like a male like you know them males that be like if you ignore them or you don't want to talk to them or if you don't show the interest that they show they go hit you like oh well fuck you then fuck you then fuck you then with your ugly ass bitch i ain't even want you anyway with your ugly ass oh you think you're too good bitch fuck you so it's like that kind of situation just because i hadn't been replying to the girl because she hit me on some weird shit like, oh, I'm tired of you ignoring me. After today, I'm not going to try to hang out with you. After she said, after today, I'm not going to try to hang out with you. She hit me several times. Several unreplied to messages, y'all. Several. So then I'm like, I thought you was done trying to hang out. I thought you was done hitting me. Mind you, I just invited her out for a drink. When I was getting done with my errands, she wasn't available. I told her, let me know when she was done. Then I wasn't available really normal stuff no reason to catch an attitude or say any type of weird stuff like i'm just not like that i do not talk to strangers and people i don't know any old type of way like especially if i'm trying to hang out with you if i'm trying to link with you i'm just be cool like i don't i don't owe nobody anything so it's like we're strangers like are you forgetting that just because i seen you what twice i think it was no, 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 I think it was once. I think it was one time we hung out. I invited her out to a place I was going to be at. One time, I believe. Because of that, you think you could just catch an attitude? Because what? Like, sis, calm the fuck down. So this is just another, I'm going to just start sharing these little experiences with y'all. Because, cool, last time. It was my fault. Lapse in judgment on my fault. A lot of people felt like I shouldn't have left Shorty. Cool. I get that. I take my L. I've I've gotten my karma back for that. Trust me. The Lord has has spoken to me. I am awake. But these other little experiences, motherfuckers just be killing it for y'all. And then when y'all be DMing me, when y'all come out here, y'all think that we're going to link up. But it's just like... Slowly but surely, that's not what's going to happen because every single time, it just ends up bad. So, yeah, maybe we're just meant to have this long-distance relationship. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with long-distance relationships. So, maybe that's what we're meant to have. Hopefully, my air... <laughs> I really hope my whole rant wasn't, wasn't fucked up because my air was too high. Anyways, I really just had to tell y'all about that. I think I have quite a ways to drive. So yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all.